I just kept seeing these YouTube videos. After some time, I thought to myself, let me just give it a try. I uh, paid for the membership, gave it a try for one month, said hi in the community, and it was just magical. I'm so glad that the curiosity sparked for you to feel energetically connected to just try it. And sometimes that is, you know, I love moments like that. And there's been many situations like this where they've been looking from the outside for months. I'm talking sometimes two years. You know? Oh, now I'll just try it. And then they realize their life is never the same again. So I encourage as many people to kind of, you know, feed into that curiosity. I'm so glad that you, you joined the community and you've been pushing with that. So firstly, again, congrats. Portfolio Asset Manager. Honestly, it's the best feeling in the world to see people like yourself actually make that happen. You actually hold the title. Now, I don't want to glorify this for people to uh, try and pass it as quick as possible, but you have, so it took you just under two months, right? What's going on, guys and girls? Welcome back to another Inside the Mine podcast. I'm really, really excited for this one. Joined with me today, one of our recent funded students who's just passed their assessment. Q, how's it going? You're in, brother. Good. Uh, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm feeling really good about the interview as well. Uh, but yeah, really excited. Honestly, it's a it's a pleasure to have you on. And I'm really excited to get into parts of your journey, your lifestyle, how you're kind of living now and your goals and ambitions, which I'm sure everybody listening from the outside and in the community is curious about. I would love to start there. Just a, a quick about yourself, you know, how long you've been trading, etc. Um, yeah, let us know. I'm a dude from the townships of South Africa. Uh, I've been trading for, I think, around four years now uh, in total from where I started. And I think it just started the same way as it would for most of us, right? Uh, I would see, you know, um, Forex boys and girls on your YouTubes and Instagrams, um, you know, buying flashy cars and, uh, you know, showing their trade, trade accounts where you find somebody who flipped a $10,000 account to $50,000. And I was like, I want a piece of that, you know? So I jumped in, went into some fundamentals uh, on Udemy. Um, I blew my account a couple of times. I went into technicals, which, you know, I was a bit apprehensive about. It just didn't make sense to me. And I blew a couple of accounts, you know, so, but then how I got back into it, my cousin uh, came to visit me and he said that he wanted to get into Forex. So I just gave him my logging details, but he would come back and forth to me to ask me questions. And that sparked the curiosity again. So what I did is I went back into it, you know, um, this time, uh, with a better plan. I, I went on to YouTube, I found some indicators there, and I found these two indicators that work really well. In that, they just never said the same thing. One said buy, one said sell, except for one moment in the day. Um, and I found that it gave me a very high risk to reward, uh, a, a very high, uh, um, what's it, hit rate. And mm -hmm. I was at like a good 95, 98% at the end of the month uh, in terms of my hit rate, right? But the problem there is I had to sit in front of the laptop the whole day waiting for just that one perfect moment with two screens open, you know, so, but that was the beginning of what really made me um, uh, think that this is actually possible, you know, so what I did just part of my visualization is I printed out my broker statement, uh, framed it, put it at the back of my, my, my office right behind me so that I can see it every time I move in. Um, and I then decided, let me look at support and resistance. I got into that. Um, I lost some, won some, beca became a little bit consistent with that. Um, but at the same time, I saw some YouTube videos, you know, with Falcon and the Falcon strategy. And that sparked another curiosity, you know. Uh, but when I looked at the content, I thought to myself, this is not the way I want to trade. You know, I see these patterns. I know nothing about that. Support and resistance is legit, you know. Um, but after some time, I thought to myself, you know, because I, I just kept seeing these YouTube videos. After some time, I thought to myself, let me just give it a try. Um, uh, and see what's happening, you know, so I uh, paid for the membership, gave it a try for one month, I said hi in the community, and it was just magical, you know, everybody greets you, you know, there's these different channels with different things, the community is interactive, and this just blew my mind, you know, trading for me has always been a one-man sport, mm -hmm. um, so there's just so much support there, then I jumped into the, 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 the content, uh, the learning content, and um, that was amazing, you know, I was watching I was binge watching it, you know, on, on a daily basis. I couldn't, I couldn't stop watching it, man. I was like a desperate housewife watching desperate housewives, right? <laughs> it was just, it was just, it was just that good, you know. So I, I got went through the processes and 
Um, I learned as much as I could learn. And yeah, the journey has been incredible. And well, right now, you know, with um, I think the climax of my trading journey, you know, uh, getting the portfolio asset manager account, which is amazing. It's a huge, huge achievement. And, and I want to go into that. So thank you for giving that uh, that overview of your journey, which is uh, so much detail. And, and I'm, you know, I've learned that for the first time. So that's amazing. I'm so glad that the curiosity sparked for you to feel energetically connected to just try. It. And sometimes that is, you know, I love moments like that. And there's been many situations like this where they've been looking from the outside for months. I'm talking sometimes two years. And like, oh, now I'll just try it. And then they realize their life is never the same again. So I encourage as many people to kind of, you know, feed into that curiosity. I'm so glad that you you joined the community and you've been pushing with that. So firstly, again, congrats, Portfolio Asset Manager. Honestly, it's the best feeling in the world to see people like yourself actually make that happen. You actually hold the title. Now, I don't want to glorify this for people to uh, try and pass it as quick as possible, but you have, so it took you just under two months, right? Yeah, yeah, it was an amazing journey. It took just under two months. Um, but here's the thing, you know, mine was not to, to rush the process. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, um, I thought about, hey, let me, let me, let me, you know, you have 30 days that you have to trade, you know, compulsory mm -hmm. trading days, there's 30 mm -hmm. compulsory trading days. But the caveat as well is you can't lose more than 5%, you know, mm -hmm. a relative 5% that you can't mm -hmm. lose, you know. So because of that, I thought to myself, let me just take trades at 0 0.25. I've got a mm -hmm. lot of days to trade. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's okay, you know, those 30 days might come in you know, in a couple of months or so or whatever. Um, but what I found is that by having a risk to reward of 0.25%, I got into a carefree state of mind when trading, you know, mm. so it was really easy to, to see opportunities and just take them, you know. So what seemed like was going to take a long time ended up taking much quicker because, you know, just the opportunities that were there and it was seamless. I just took them. Um, but one of the rules that I had was, just so that I don't over trade, don't take more than one trade a day. And I stuck mm -hmm. to that, I think around 90% of the time, I think it was only just three days where I, I took more than one trade, but that was because the setups were just absolutely amazing. So I had to go for that, you know, mm -hmm. um, I had to remain a little bit flexible with that. So, but I was very strict with that and intentional um, about the process that I follow uh, to get there. Yeah, the discipline was clearly there in what you've done. I'm glad you stuck to 0 0.25 as well. And I think that care, carefree state of mind uh, that you spoke that you spoke about, I think that's so important. Did that just overall just make you feel a little bit more relaxed when you saw a setup? Let's say you missed a trade, you was a bit more relaxed when, okay, there's another trade around the corner. Did you feel at ease through the whole process? Talk to us about uh, any kind of friction. If you went for a bit of drawdown, how did you overcome that? Man, the friction, I think, would bring me towards uh, the second part, which is uh, uh, psychology. You know, I, did, I think I did two things um, that were amazing in terms of uh, just reaching the goal. Mm -hmm. um, but first of all, when I took trades at 0.25%, you know, whether I won or lost, you know, I didn't really care. I was looking at the batch size, uh, first mm -hmm. of all. And when I did win, because the wins were sometimes just so small, you know, I didn't feel anything. And when I did lose, the losses were very small. I didn't feel anything at all, you know, so, but then what I did feel is after the 30 days were done, um, you know, the account, you know, had, had grown, you know, in, in a massive way, you know, just little, you know, taking those small little steps. Mm -hmm. um, but, but the psychology, I think was what, what um, pushed me a bit more, you know, so um, I've always been big on, on visualization, you know, so uh, at the beginning of last year I became full time. And I went into, I, I changed my title um, to, to full-time trader and fund manager, even though I wasn't a fund manager anymore, you know, so um, I did that, you know, just, you know, with visualization, the thing that I follow is, uh, first of all, you need to see it, you know, so I, I wrote it down. And then the second thing is you need to believe it. Mm -hmm. But then the turning point was when I could, re I could feel it, you know, when, when it was just a feeling within me that, you know, I got this. Um, so, uh, psych when it came to my psychology, when I started, um, I felt like I had already won, mm. um, matter of fact, you know, for me, uh, there is no assessment because, uh, the assessment itself, you get a profit on that when you pass, you know, so, uh, calling it an assessment is actually an illusion. You know, the mm. moment you go into the, 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 the assessment itself, you are a portfolio fund manager, you know, mm. period. Um, so that's the kind of mindset that I, that I think that I brought into, you know, the, the trades, you know, and, you know, various other things as well uh, that, that I, I can get into. Yeah.
that, that's so important. And I think you went in with an incredible mindset. That feeling that you're talking about, it's so important. Many traders right now that are going through funded assessment after funded assessment in all parts of this space don't actually feel good enough. They don't feel worthy. So what's the chances they succeed? This is why we talk about psychology so much, because if you don't feel worthy, like you changed your, your title to right? fund manager, portfolio asset manager. So you was already there mentally. So I think that is a, is a very, there's, there's, this is not by accident. This is very deliberate. And that's what I love about what you've done, right? You've not come in, fluked it. You've been here for what, two years now in Falcon in total, roughly? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been about uh, two years, um, uh, an incredible two years, uh, because uh, it gets into something that I feel is important for all traders to have. And that's a good trading environment. Mm. You know, you are the average of the people that you are close to, you know, so be close to, um, you know, successful traders. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm close to you. So just automatically, I already know that I'm a successful uh, uh, trader, you know, uh, but that also a lot of what you receive within the environment is just spectacular, you know, and amazing, um, which is uh, number one mentorship, you get a whole lot of mentorship. Um, and for me, it's the recipe to success to learn from somebody who's already walked that road, you know, they've had a lot of mistakes that, have, that they've probably done. And um, they'll probably, they'll, they'll be able to expedite your process of success. You know, um, mm -hmm. accountability has also been amazing. I've got four accountability managers with different purposes as well, you know, of which one of the accountability guys is, is somebody that I, I coach once a week as well, you know, mm -hmm. and I feel like that's something that the whole community can do. Uh, even if you've been in there for six months, you know something that somebody doesn't know, you know, exactly. so if somebody needs help you can actually go in and already, you know, help them in within their journey with whatever it is, you know, you know, so, um, and the teacher learns the most, you know, I find that the more I teach is the more I learn um, mm -hmm. uh, myself, you know, um, I've learned things with regards to environment, not just uh, the environment within the, within the uh, community, but then just being in a good trading environment yourself, you know, um, if, if, if where you live is not conducive, isolate yourself by moving away. That's one of the things that I did. Mm -hmm. I was able to move away, you know, um, I was able to even move to, to another country, you know, just so that I was in a paradise like environment, you know, just so that my mindset is on a new level, you know, which I think is very important things. And, you know, with the environment as well, you know, I would say things like, what do you eat? You know, what's the environment of your, your body and your mind, you know, um, you become what you eat, you know, so if you're eating off the shelves, you know, condiments, canned food, and all that other crap, you know, that's what, that's, that's how you will think, you know, but then if you're in the fresh produce, uh, most of the time, um, you know, your mind will be fresh, you know, eat food that God has actually made for you, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that's the, the biggest scam that we call superfoods, superfoods, mm -hmm. because they're actually not superfoods, they food, everything else is just crap food, and that's what it should be called, you know, mm -hmm. so um, the moment we realize that, you know, that, you know, the body environment, the music that you listen to, you know, I mean, I've got autoplay on, on, on my playlist, but the moment I hear a message that's not conducive to my success, I, I delete that, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's those small things, I think, that you, that you find in that uh, environment uh, um, within, within uh, Falcon. Well, what sticks out to me, Q, is that your holistic approach, approach to all of this, you've taken on everything, everything that we have said for so many years. Honestly, it's a breath of fresh air to see someone factor in all of these things whether it's your nutrition your environment and I, and I really want to dig into environment because i feel like that's so so important as to it's going to influence your mental state in rewired there is a is a quote right it's one of my favorite quotes everything is connected to everything else that's exactly what you're talking about everything is connected so it's no coincidence that you happen to pass in the, the shortest period of time could have been two months, could have been four months. It doesn't really look, seem like you cared. You just was focused on the discipline and the actions, which I think is great. And this is a prime example of slow is fast. You could argue that someone who's risking, say, 0 0.75 or they want to get ahead really quickly and they their ego gets involved and goes, you know, I'm not going to stick to the tactic of half a percent. I'm going to go 1% because I trust myself. And their ego gets the best of them, realizing that you may be a skilled trader, but sequence can work against you in a very short period of time. You've not given yourself that window. So just go with it. And I'm so glad that you've done that. How does it feel now overall? Is it kind of sunk in that you're a portfolio asset manager? You said that you've already collected this, right? So you visualized this. I'm sure you were so present that it was like, yeah, I expected this. How does it feel now? Because wh where are you living at the moment? You're in Thailand, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm living in Thailand, you know, which is uh, one of my major goals that I had that I wanted to tick. 
and uh, I was able to tick that goal uh, around two and a half, two months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's been absolutely amazing here. You know, um, I did research with regards to where I'd like to go um, because one of my goals has just since childhood was to travel the world, you know, and not live in one country for the entirety of your life, you know. So uh, taking off the whole Thailand goal has been absolutely amazing. Um, and, you know, there's other goals that I ticked off whilst in Thailand as well, you know. Um, but um, with regards to uh, getting the, the portfolio asset manager account, you know, um, the weird thing about it, you know, as you've uh, correctly said, is uh, when it did happen, I, I didn't really feel much at all. Yes, I was proud, you know, and I, I got, you know, a lot of messages and positive messages from the community. And I think that's what was, that was what was the most important thing, you know, the, the positive messages and some of the people who were inspired, you know, to, 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 to be their best, you know, but um, I feel like I had this a long time ago, you know, the moment I went into the assessment itself, you know, I was that, I felt that, I, I believed that with mm -hmm. every part of my soul, you know, so um, this was just formalities, you know, of getting a certificate mm -hmm. and things like that, you know, I mean, I would, the certificate wasn't even a shock to me. And this is why I would look in the community, in the achievements. And what I would do is I would take certificates, um, copy and paste them, put them into Canva mm -hmm. and take out the name of whoever passed and then put my name there, mm -hmm. you know, and I would always do that and just have that certificate right there, you know, every time I open my, my desktop. So when I got the certificate, it was, it was nothing at all, you know. Um, so yeah, it, 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 it was, uh, I didn't really have much feelings because the feelings had, had come, you know, way before I, I even started the, the account, the excitement it already happened. happened. It already yeah, happened. Absolutely. It already happened in your mind. That belief that you spoke about, which is, is paramount to every trader who wants to go through this. Many traders right now that are going through assessment where maybe you've done the third one, fourth one, feeling a little bit disheartened. It doesn't matter who you're with, right? Whether it's third party, et cetera, that belief is something that is cultivated over a period of time. For you, have you, have you always been someone that have believed in yourself? Is it something that you've worked on through uh, affirmation? Was there a period of in which that, because some people right now might be listening going, Q, that, that sounds amazing. I, I want to be there as well. But do you know what? I don't have that belief. So is there any advice that you've gone through that you've helped build up, whether it's your self-esteem, your mentality, yeah. to actually in your physiology, like you said, you feel it in your soul. And I, I know I resonate with that. I know exactly what you're talking about, where you feel like, this is my time. Like I am worthy of this. And then you naturally attract the results. I'm just curious what you've gone through. Yeah, bro. It's, it's weird. You know, like affirmations kind of trick your mind to really believing that you are something, you know, but you need to go the extra mile of, of actually feeling your affirmations, you know? So if there's just one message, it's don't just believe your affirmations, truly feel it inside, you know, like from within, um, you know, but here's something amazing that happened to me um, uh, a couple of months ago. And I think that, you know, this is key for any trader. And I know, Mark, even yourself, you know, you, uh, this has happened to you as well. But I, I fell in love recently, you know, a couple of months ago, you know, uh, I, that's what I would call it, you know, I fell deeply in love with a beautiful word called pain, you know, so mm. um, pain, if you embrace it, it can become your greatest teacher. If you truly understand what pain is, which is just an imprint that you're being has so that you can remember that specific situation you know and uh once you can think about pain that way it becomes like what you like a verse in the bible that says consider it all consider it pure joy in trials and tribulation you know mm. and that was just amazing you know to be able to be in pain of losses be in pain of maybe ill health and within that pain feel like i'm getting stronger using words mm. like I'm not sick. I'm already in the process of healing. Fe healing feels amazing. You know, um, I'm getting stronger, you know, especially living alone. And, uh, you know, I, I was a bit of a mommy's boy, you know, so she would take care of me. But when I lived alone, all I had was me, you know, so and no one to call at times, you know, so just being in that pain and then realizing what it is, you know, and that it's just building a strong backbone. Um, and, and I think that's that's paramount and very important for for all traders, you know, if you're going to be in this game, you need to fall in love with pain, embrace it, know exactly what it is. It's just an imprint for your being so that you can remember this lesson next time. So now that feeling of pain, when it comes, man, I feel so good, you know, because mm -hmm. I know that I'm going to learn from this and not repeat the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, 
but yeah affirmations was a was i think affirmations is a is a very big one of which it's something that i do on a daily basis it's automated it's something that i do even just you know taking a walk or um uh, uh, um you know maybe in a, in a cab or whatever it is it might be uh and uh i think a very big one was elimination of all distraction you know if it mm. distracts me i eliminate it so you won't find you know, like Instagram on my phone, because I know that it's a major distraction. I've made it difficult for me to get onto Instagram. I need to log in, put in my codes, and then I'm on, you know, um, things like uh, friends, you know, uh, certain friends who would distract me, you know, cut them off. WhatsApp, you know, a lot of people, especially in the community, some of them have been asking for my WhatsApp details, and I don't have WhatsApp because it's a major distraction for me. YouTube was a big one as well. And what I found when I eliminated distraction is that I would get bored. And if I get bored, the one thing that I love to do is watch content. So what I would do is watch the right content, you know, so I'd get into the community and watch a trade recap, you know, mm. get into the community, watch a brilliant video by Ibi or Abdu, which is our coaches, you know, um, uh, or, or, you know, have a accountability call or something like that, you know, so that brought me new joy, you know, so now the whole environment is just based, is just focused on on, on trading, you know, and another thing is I, I went full time at the end of at the beginning of last year. But mm -hmm. before that, I had a successful consulting business, mm -hmm. you know, that that I was running and it uh, it got it got hit a little hard uh, during COVID. Um, so but we still had clients, but I decided to sell the company off and just focus strictly on trading um, and uh, uh, eliminating that as a distraction, which it wasn't easy because now I'm living off of savings. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a passion for voiceovers, so I do voiceovers and that gives me some money uh, now and then as well, you know, so, but just eliminating everything that was a distraction around me, it doesn't matter what it is, was the one thing that I wanted more than breathing. And it has been amazing just living in, in solitude, you know, all the thoughts I have are positive thoughts, things that I get from the community. Um, and bro, I can go on and on, you know, <laughs> but yeah. I love it. I love it. You know, the, the big thing there is every single trader listening to this needs to adopt that mindset that you have, which is the the love with pain that when you, and, and it's easy to say it and for someone to logically understand that makes sense, right? If I can fall in love with pain, therefore I will get stronger. There's a difference when you feel it because it's easy to be positive when things are easy, right? When things are going well, when it's tough and you're telling yourself, yeah, I'm going to learn a lesson from this, but deep in your mind, you're thinking, yeah, but I hate this. And the, it's it's that moment there where you have to you have to feel it in your bones in your body that this is making me stronger and you start to enjoy do you know a little trick that has always helped me through the years any struggle i would always visualize how i'm going to feel after i've overcome the challenge so if i've ever gone through any kind of friction i would be telling myself i have the solutions to any problems i have the solutions to all of the hurdles i have the solutions to all the hurdles i'm going to overcome these solutions are always coming to me i have a Again, it's affirmation. All it is, is the difference between someone's got a cluttered mind who's talking to themselves negatively for two minutes, yet I'm training my mind to go, no, I have the solutions, I'm worthy of it. That's all it is. That is, It's just the repetition of thinking in the right way enough for a longer period of time until that's who you are, that's who you become. So then when friction comes your way, like pain, as you said, you know how to deal with it. It's muscle memory. It's like, right, I know what I need to say. I know the words I need to do. I know how to keep my my mind intact so I don't go into that kind of anxiety mode of feeling overwhelmed and I can make cool, calm, collected decisions. So thank you for sharing that. I think that alone, so many traders, they would adopt that, fall in love with the friction. How many traders right now are going through a period where maybe they're in drawdown, taking loss after loss, maybe they've failed a few funded accounts, their mind is all over the place. If they can fall in love with, right, so why did it happen? Was it because I didn't stick to risk? Was it because I rushed it? Was it because maybe you just want it so bad? You want that full-time trading status and you're missing important details of your skill set that you need to hone into. If more people could do that and be more intentional with it, they will see much more success. You mentioned about uh, the coaches recently. I'm just curious your, your feedback on that as to your experience in the community with people like the legends, Abdu and Ibi. They're always so helpful. What's your experience been uh, th throughout that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just wanted to touch on something that you said about pain, you know, which I think is very important as well, which is what do you tell yourself during the pain? You know, like you say, you had positive affirmations mm -hmm. and that's the difference that takes the suffering out of pain. Yes, there's still the feeling of pain, but there's no suffering 
uh, if you have those those affirmations. Mm -hmm. um, the coaches, my experience with the coaches, man. So when I came on, Ibi and Abdu were not coaches. They held uh, the foundation series. They held uh, the, the back testing uh, seminars as well, you know. Um, so I was really inspired uh, to, to learn about these, these, these two chaps, you know, and, and I mean, they two brilliant minds, you know, so, and I've got a lot to learn from them, you know, and now they coaches, you know, so they've had a really interesting journey in Falcon where they started as students, then they started to coach and, and, and teach us uh, before they were coaches. And then they became that, you know, so I've been very inspired by the journey, first of all, but second of all, you know, I'm like, these guys have a well of knowledge, you know, I mean, I listen to Abdu and the things that he says, and I'm like, what the hell, this is crazy, you know, to think that, you know, like, uh, for Ibi, for instance, you know, I'm almost 15 years his senior, you know, and the things that he says, I'm like, this young chap here, man, like, I've got a lot to learn, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I'm very humble about that, you know, and um, you know, it's not about the age or anything like that, you know, uh, we've had different experiences in life, you know, so I just love, uh, you know, listening to all the content that they put out, you know, I mean, Ibi's been throwing some incredible content um, out, you know, a wealth of it, you know, it's like all these pearls just keep coming out of his mouth, and Abdu as well, you know, who's just, just amazing, you know, uh, Abdallah Salam, you know, it's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's amazing to, to listen to him. But also, I wanted to say that somebody else who inspires me is Danielle as well. You know, she's had an amazing journey. You know, um, I would I would watch her even before she hit uh, six, a six-figure account. And then I remember the foundation, her first foundation seminar. And I was like, well, let me give it a listen. And I was blown away. I was like, oh, my God. You know, it's not just the coaches, you know, even the experienced students are just on a new level, you know, like, mm -hmm. when will I get to that level, you know, so... I'm just inspired by everybody in, in, in Falcon and, and not just them, you know, the entire community, you know, um, um, and, and yeah, it's just, it's, it's been wonderful, a wonderful journey with them and yourself, uh, uh, Mark, and, and your entire team as well. You know, they've been doing amazing work in the background, you know, your, your uh, Ben, Ibrahim, Andrew, um, I'm probably going to forget others, but they've just been absolutely amazing and people that I really look up to and love. We really appreciate that. And I'm glad you've, you've noticed all these things. Honestly, the, I couldn't be more grateful for the team, the coaches, just everyone that we have in this team that is just on the same mission. They, they authentically feel good and want everyone to do well. And that's what's happening. I said about Q3 and Q4, the success is rolling in. You're, you're one of those people, which I'll, again, congratulate you again. Um, last thing before we, before we wrap things up, which has just been super flown by, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you, Q. What is the what is the future look like for you? Right, you're you're a portfolio asset manager now. I'm sure you've got big goals to scale up your trading. You're full time trading, living in Thailand. You have an incredible environment. It sounds like you holistically have got everything figured out. What is the the next stages for you, and what are you excited about? Yeah, well, I've been banging out my uh, yearly goals so quickly. You know, I don't have that many left, but uh, I would say scaling up my account uh, to manage at least uh, 250k. Mm -hmm. I would be uh, top of my list uh, to continue to do what I love, which is having amazing experiences by traveling the world. So I'd like to hit um, uh, uh, Bali and Japan, but that's next year. This year, I want to hit, uh, 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 you know, PP Islands uh, here in Thailand and Krabi um, uh, and experience more incredible food and people. That's that's what I live for. Uh, my dad is a uh, 77 year old. Uh, he's on he's on pension. You know, he's not living a bad life, but I just want him to live a soft life, you know, mm -hmm. um, and then. Uh, lastly, I've created a community, um, or I'm creating a community for, for young leaders, you know, we get them at four years old, um, um, and uh, we develop them, you know, so that they, beca they can become a global network of, of world leaders uh, going forward, you know, so uh, those that. are some of my goals. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I can't wait to you to see take off all those goals, especially your your trading goals as well, which you know the community and myself and the team are going to clap for you um, from all of those milestones that you move towards. Any last words for for the community? Any inspiring words that I may be feeling a little bit doubtful? They're going. They have these big goals as well. Any words of wisdom? Yeah, I'll be quick with this. Enjoy pain, remain coachable. That's the one thing that determines if whether or not you will succeed make sure that you take a look at your environment where you live your mindset your food just everything the music you listen to um and then finally i would say uh and this is one of ibi's uh, uh you know the one that ibi loves is no fab research it no fab will change your life love that thank you so much q it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on this podcast congratulations for all the success your mindset your energy 
the whole community is rooting for you for, so keep doing what you're doing you've inspired so many more people than probably what you've realized so absolute pleasure having a great day and i look forward to seeing you a meet up one day oh yeah bro thank you so much oh, yeah, you're very yeah, welcome yeah, yeah. thank, thank you. you brother Cheers. bye